This is a, a very quick and to the point uh, video because I could not find this information anywhere. Essentially what I wanted to do, I drew out this tile map. I only have two tile sets, water and shrub ground, so ID 1 and 2, right there. Now what I wanted to do is actually, I want to know where all of this is, what the tiles are, because I want to make a another uh, grid because I want each tile to have a record of what the tile is, what can happen there, and stuff like that. But I had no access to the tiles to figure out how to do any of this. After a week and a half, I was about ready to throw this Godot in the trash can. I finally figured it out today. Um... And I, I, let me, okay, I got rid of all the other stuff. Um, I figured all of this out and then just put it into a function in the tile map. So essentially what's going on here is we got some variables. Uh, these are to get tile map starting corner. So the starting corner of this entire map, so right there, we want that value so we know where to start. Um, then we need the entire size of the tile map. All of this, how big is it? So we'll have an idea of what to, what to do with it. Uh, what, so what is cell is a variable that calls get use cells. What this does is get all cells in the tile map of level zero. This is Godot 4, uh, beta. So this tile map is level four so it's going to get all of these cells and that displays down here first cell second cell so it's this is a vector x and y so as we go across it's uh this cell is zero zero this cell is one zero which means x one y zero two zero three zero and then it does a weird thing it goes down to three one which means it's the third x cell the f uh and down one on the y axis and then it counts backwards and that's what all this is so then i saw all this and i'm like hmm well what do i do with it so i figured out uh, i got a variable size equals what is cell what is cell equals get you cells equals this so what is uh, cell size total cells in the map and i come up with eight so one two three four five six seven eight i'm like okay great now what and hence we have our next variable called huh because i didn't know what the hell to do i accidentally called a get reused rec because it seemed to be the thing to do and so down here i print the huh so uh what is cell is here i print that the size variable i print that i print huh which is get used rec and i come up with p00s42 that made me scratch my head and go huh so I figured one of those had to be uh, size and one had to be position. I got the size. I didn't, I, I didn't know how to get these values out of uh, get used rec. I know the values were there. I didn't know how to get it out because I, can, I'm, I'm, I can't program in Godot. It's all object-oriented program and I'm an idiot, but I guessed pretty good. So our, I make, created a variable here, size x, size y. Size x equals, huh, size x, obviously. Size y, huh, size y. And that's, then I printed them down here. That is four, so there's the four, and two. And that's two, so it's four across, two down. And then I was like, well, where does the map start? So I can have a starting point now that I have the maximums, I need the starting point. And that's where I ran into problems. I rec two, I ended up, you use control and you get used rec, you end up in rec two. And consists of a position, a size, and several utility functions. I'm like, okay, 
Well, property is vector two position. It's a vector two. Well, their size, I just use size. So I went back and I just did huh position dot X and I didn't get a red line. That and then I did it on Y and that gives us a zero zero. So we know our starting position of our tile map, how many across it is, how many down. And we go off from there because we have the absolute basics we need to know to access this tile map. I hope this helps somebody because I could not find this anywhere, this information anywhere at all. I was totally lost.